Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 16, today verse 14 to 18, and just a little bit of a piece of our context before we begin. This is really, chapter 16 is really broken into three main portions, but it all has to do with the same thing. We've been through the the, the weird manager, the unjust manager, dishonest manager, and it ended with, with what? You cannot serve God in mammon, you can't serve God in money, you can't serve the spiritual and the material, and that's really the whole chapter 16 of Luke, is you can't you can't be spiritual and also go after material things, things like that. So uh, now that we've gone through that, we're going to 14, 18, and we're going to get into another parable that's kind of challenging, but you want and you need to know this for that because we're going to split it over three days. And that is that, again, we're dealing with the material versus the spiritual. So let's find out something right here. All right, verse 14. Now the Pharisees, who were lovers of money, also heard all these things, and they derided him. And he said to them, You are those who justify yourselves before men, but God knows your hearts, for what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. The law and the prophets were until John, since that time the kingdom of God has been preached, and everyone is pressing into it. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one tittle of the law to fail. Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery, and whoever marries her who is divorced from her husband commits adultery. Now you might remember these are practices that the Pharisees were all up on. In fact, chapters 13 to 17 in Luke is pretty much uh, the Pharisees' view of, of God and man versus Jesus' view of God and man. Here we find out what? The Pharisees, they're lovers of money. And so that's a big problem. That's that's leading to a lot of conflict. They think they can uh, divorce a wife by just writing a slip on a slip of paper. We're divorced here. And they can go and do something else. Uh, they love the money. Jesus just told him you can't serve God and mammon. That was kind of a problem for them because that's exactly what they were doing. We're living sumptuously. We are going to get rich and we're going to divorce our wives. If they don't look just right or treat us just right, we'll just get another one. This this kind of some of this spirit was there among the Pharisees and Jesus is pushing back, pushing back really hard on that. That's not the way it should be. So the Pharisees and you need to know the Pharisees were lovers of money. And we need to know as we get into this next parable starting tomorrow morning, the the rich man and Lazarus often misunderstood. This context today is going to help us understand that. So, friends, uh, we don't want to be lovers of money. We want to start by being lovers of God. We can only ever serve the God of heaven. And everything else must be secondary. You think you're going to do both at the same time? It's not going to happen. We already talked about that. But today, just a reminder that that's where the Pharisees were. If that's where you are, like God is kind of a sidelight, religion is kind of a sidelight, and mostly I'm doing my stuff. You're kind of where the Pharisees were, and that's not where you want to be. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for watching over your people. Thank you for changing our hearts so that we're not like the Pharisees. Help us, Lord, to recognize that the spiritual has to be supreme. Uh, None of these other things can really have that supreme place. Lord, please be our leader and bless us so that we are not closet Pharisees. Thank you for hearing our prayer, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the God of heaven and earth watch over you and put his blessings richly upon you.